So you can see that I have a simple diagram right here. And let's say I want to rearrange the group. So I can manually go over here and then rearrange all the group as I want. But what I can do is I uh, can let the video arrange it according to itself. So I'm gonna go into design tab for that. And over here, you can see that there's an option called relayout page. So once you go here, you can see there are the different uh, presets that you can choose from. For example, flowchart, as you can see, the entire diagram now changes. And you can see that you, this is the preview of what you see here. If you were to hover it around, you can see that that moves up. You can see that now you can arrange it from left to right or right to left, just like that. And everything arranges quite in a fascinating way. There's also the hierarchy, bottom to top, left to right, and so forth. Also, there's down, then right, down, then left, and down, then down, and down, then down, just like that. There's also a radial design right here and a circular design just like that. So let us choose one uh, effect that I like. For, for example, let's say I want to choose this one right here from top to bottom so because this is the design that looks very clean. Another thing I can do is I can work uh, with the layout options. So there are more layout options right here. Once I click that, uh, the layout window will appear. So there's flowchart, there's circular and so forth, which you can actually apply and everything will be applied just like that. So flowchart, apply it just like that and there you go. Let me just go over here and then make it out um, to a default flowchart right here. All right, let me just press Control Z yeah, because I want this layout itself. Let me just go back into the more layout options and here you can see top to bottom, you can have bottom to top just like that it'll change it out and so forth and you can change that out as well right now the default spacing is one inch but what i can do is i can reduce the spacing as well let's say for example i'm going to type in 0 0.5 and click apply and you can see that the diagram is smaller i can do 0 0.2 press apply the diagram is much smaller 0 0.1 much smaller you get the idea just like that so 1.5 inch apply much larger just like that so you can work around with the spacing as well. There's also the style like straight, apply that out. So everything is straight as you can see here. There's the right angle, just like that. There's the simple, just like that and so forth, just like that. Also the appearance of curved. So you can have a curvy look like, uh, curvy look of the diagrams and so forth as well. So you can also enlarge space to fit the drawing. So if the drawing actually goes off, then this will actually help us enlarge the piece once um, to uh, let the drawing fit in the entire page. So that is how you can use the relayout page options inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.